welcome again to our when in Halifax, your community here in Canada. Hi! What's up mga cubs? So today's so I'm going to answer one of the questions of our cup or kapatid natin dito sa ating cup unity sa Canada when in Halifax. Ang tanong ni Chris Ong Cup, ready ng IELTS at EKA? Kailan papasok ang proof of funds? Diba? So dapat ba meron ng proof of funds uh, bago maghanap ng designated employer or meron na or okay lang wala pa ang proof of funds? Uh, maghanap ng designated employees. That's very good questions because a lot of our cops nagtatanong, kailan ba dapat meron proof of funds? Diba? So anyway po mga cop, by may um, going to answer this question by giving an example po mga cops. So the first one is, proof of funds is required for the AIPP. That's the number one highlight that I want you to remember. There's a proof of funds needed for AIPP. And then next second points po mga kap no, uh, EIPP proof of funds is lesser than that express entry. Mababa po yung proof of funds required ng EIPP compared with express entry. Ayan. May per may option ka kasi po mga kap no. Sa EIPP you have an option to land as a work permit which is mas madali yung process in 6 months you can be here in Canada under a work permit visa you know? work work permit visa ka muna sa EIPP and then dito ka na mag PR or hihintayin mo uh, yung permanent residency sa Pilipinas so that's a scenario so again proof of funds po mga kap bakit kailangan to? that's a, another question bakit kailangan ng proof of funds? The proof of funds is required po mga kap to show to the government that you can support yourself. That's the number pinaka-highlight nun. Kaya mong suportahan ang sarili mo. In layman's term po mga kap, in our own understanding, para mas madaling maintindihan, no? Proof of funds is like a pocket money. So you're going to a new place, bagong lugar, no? Um, and then hindi mo alam kung saan ka magsisimula. Diba? Kailangan mo ng pera. Kailangan mo ng allowance para suporta ng sarili mo. It's either pagkain, bahay, transportation, etc. Yun po yung purpose ng proof of funds. That's why po mga kap, uh, marami nagtatanong din, bakit mababa yung proof of funds ng EIPP kumpara sa express entry? The reason why po mga kap, there is an employer. Merong trabaho, di ba? Sa EIPP, isa sa mga pinaka-importante sa EIPP is you need to have a designated employer. Kailangan mo designated employer with the EIPP. Kaya nga po mga kapmababa yung propofans dahil meron kang employer. Sabi ng Canada, okay, konti lang i-required ko kasi anyway, may trabaho ka naman, di ba? Sa express entry, gaya ng mga land, land namin po dito, we are landed here as a permanent resident, malaki yung hinihingi yung proof of funds kasi nagland po kami dito as walang trabaho, di ba? Sino magsusuporta sa amin? Not the government, but our self, di ba? So at least now that you understand the proof of funds, but if you have more questions about proof of funds, comment it below. Ayan. And uh, uh, let's go back to the question. Um, kailangan ba may proof of funds na bago maghanap or okay lang maghanap ng, ng designated employer kahit wala pang proof of funds? My answer to this is yes, you can look for a designated employer even without proof of funds. Wow. But however, po mga kap, I recommend na kapag prepare ka na kahit konti. Yan yung sagot ko. Nakapag-prepare ka na ng kahit konti sa inyong bangko. Always remember, one way to prove to the immigration officer that you own the bank account or you own the proof of funds is meron pong transaction doon sa bank. So right now, if you're thinking to, to apply as AIPP and you want to show yung proof of funds, dapat meron transaction na ito yung pumapasok ng um, um, transaction na, na pera sa banko mo. So, if you're thinking right now, do it now. Mag-open kang bank account. Kung meron ka na, yun na yun. Then, pa konti konti pinapasukan mo ng pera para at least there is a transaction history na, ah, eto pala yung transaction. Ah, pera niya at pala talaga to. So, wala ka pang budget, wala pa ganun na amount, pero at least meron transaction. 
Mostly po mga kap, nagkakaroon ng doubt ang immigration officer pag one time, big time and transaction. For example, proof of funds required is 4,000 Canadian dollars. So let's convert it uh, 36, 36 times 4,000. So 369. 900,000. Tama? 900,000. 900,000. So yun. So anyway, uh, 900,000. Sabi na lang roughly 900,000. Bigla ang pumasok. Ngayon, kung bigla ang pumasok yun, magkakaroon ng doubt si immigration officer kung talagang pera mo yun. At the same time, magkakaroon also ng questions saan galing itong perang na ito, ba? Diba? Pero kung meron transaction, kahit ikaw, may justify mo, oh, this is from my savings, this is from my salary, this is from, from this, this meron transaction, meron history, ba? Diba? So, this is one way also to, to prove na meron ka talagang pera. Ayon, okay? So, again mga kap, my best advice for you is to start to save now for your proof of funds. Kung meron ka ng pera, that's good. But again, you need to support uh, yung bank statement mo na ito galing sa akin sahod. Ito galing ito sa pamana. ba? Diba? You need to support that you all. So, the bottom line po mga kap, the proof of funds is um, you need to prove that you own the bank account. That's it. Kailangan patunayan na sa'yo. Kailangan patunayan na sarili mo ang pera na yon. Okay? So, the question now is, Kap, okay lang bang walang uh, proof of funds? Definitely. You can look for an employer. You can look for a designated employer na walang, desig uh, na walang proof of funds. However po mga Kap, mas maganda pa rin yung handa. Because always remember the opportunity only next once. ba? Diba? Isang beses na pumapasak ang opportunity. Halimbawa, naghanap ka, you are so aggressive to find an employer. And luckily, because of your hard work, dedication, and prayers, nakakuha ka ng designated employer. Sabi ng designated employer, I will process your application right now. So, are you immigration ready? Are you um, uh, employer? Wala pa po akong proof of funds. Uh, can you wait for two months? Sabi ng employer, okay, no, I cannot wait two months. Next applicant. So, you will miss that opportunity po, mga ka. I'm just giving you a scenario. Maybe hindi mangyayari sa'yo, but at least you have an idea na what will be the advantage and disadvantage if ever I have a proof of funds on my bank. If I'm immigration ready. So, it's up to you now, mga kap. Ikaw na magde-decide kung lalagyan mo ng pera yung, or pag-iipo naman yung proof of funds mo or hindi mo na. But the bottom line po mga kap, ito lang gusto kong i-highlight before we end this video. Number one, the proof of funds, you need to prove to the government of Canada that you can support yourself. That's the purpose of the proof of funds. Second, you need to prove to the um, a federal government or the immigra Canada immigration na you own the proof of funds. Sarili mo. You have an access on it. There's a bank transaction on it. And pag-aari mo yung pera na yun. Okay? And then at the same time po mga kap, in terms of success on when is the best time to find a designated employer with proof of funds ba? Or without proof of funds? For me po mga kap, readiness is the key to success. Diba? So if you're ready, pag dumating si employer, you can say, I'm ready po, employer. Employer, lahat ng kailangan mo sa EIPP, ikaw na lang ang hinihintay ko. Wow. Meron ako proof of funds, meron akong language test, meron akong ECA, and I'm ready to go to Canada and work with you, employer. So, ganun, di ba? Napakaganda sa feeling. But anyway, that's it mga kap. Thank you, Chris, for your questions. And I highly, I highly suggest po mga kap to comment all your questions in the comment sections. And I want you now to, to comment. Yeah, diba? This is your community mga kap. Feel free to ask questions. And we love your question and comment. Comment also mga kap. Suggestion, some topics, or you want to discuss something. I want you to engage. I want you to comment in the comment section po mga kap. And of course, before we end our lives, uh, our videos, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you in our next video. Bye, Caps.